Hey everybody, Matt Bauer here for another edition of How My Computer Works. Today's subject is Google Calendar. Now think back to the days when you used a day planner, wall calendar, or the infamous coffee-stained desktop calendar. What if you had a calendar that saves you time and money, saves some trees, is always with you wherever you go, integrates with many Google services, and has many more features? Well, all these things are possible with Google Calendar. Like almost all Google services, Calendar is free, and if you have a Google account, you're pretty much all set up to use it. When you're logged into your Google account, click Calendar on the top navigation bar. Or go to calendar.google.com. If you don't have a Google account, you can click the link just below this video for instructions on how to create one. All right, once you're in Google Calendar, you might be asked to set your time zone. After you do this, you'll be in the default week view. You can change this by clicking any of the options here. You can create a new event just by clicking on the day where you would like to add the event, type in the name of the event, like a birthday party, dentist appointment, or just a reminder, and set a time like 10 o'clock AM for example. You can immediately save your event or edit your event details by clicking Edit Event. Here you can change the date, time, duration, set a location, and even add a description to the event. Google Calendar has a very cool feature that allows you to invite family, friends, coworkers, or anyone else to your event. And it keeps track of responses and comments all in one place. To invite a guest, simply type his or her email address in the Add Guests box and click Add. Google will send them an invitation to your event. If this event has significant importance and you'd like it to sort of stand out, you can change the color of the event by clicking one of these colored boxes. If you tend to be somewhat forgetful, like me, Google Calendar has the solution. You can set reminders and receive them in several ways, including email. To set a reminder to an event, click the Add a Reminder link and set the reminder options. In this case, we've set up an email reminder 30 minutes prior to the event. When you're done setting up your event details, click Save. Google Calendar even lets you sync your calendar to your mobile device, such as an iPhone, iPad, Android phone, or tablet. The step-by-step -step instructions can be found at the link below this video. You can also adjust several Google Calendar settings by clicking Settings under the gear icon in the upper right corner. There are many more Google Calendar features, and I may cover them in a future video, but those are the basics to get you up and running. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Feel free to leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you have any questions about this particular video or if you have any comments or training suggestions, just send me an email at training at mycomputerworks.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking the links in the more info section just below this video. And if you have any questions about My Computer Works or would like to know more information about our services, just call us at the number you see below or visit us online at mycomputerworks.com. My name is Matt Bauer. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.